Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Wild Weiler Weekly Wrap. As always, I am Wild Weiler. It was one of those weird weeks where you start by playing a new game, the Lamplighters League, and then a day later, you're watching Time Crisis 2 long plays and live skeeting about it over on Blue Sky. On that note, I'm on Blue Sky, and I guess if you want an invite, just say so in the comments, because I can't give these codes away right now, which is weird, because other people are getting asked all the time for them. This is a weird aside that I'm keeping in the vlog. For those of you that don't know, Time Crisis was a game with a, like, light gun sort of thing in an arcade. Now, for those of you who don't know what an arcade is, an arcade was, like, a place where you would go to pay 25 cents to a dollar to play a video game that was kind of bad for, like, two minutes before you had to put another dollar in. Or Anyways, this isn't really about arcades so much as it is about Time Crisis. Time Crisis itself is the most 90s game ever, and I'm gonna go into that a little bit. So, first of all, for me, my memories of Time Crisis are it was the loudest game in the local video arcade, and I suspect anybody who was in video arcades in the 90s agrees with me. They had the volume on this thing cranked. Anyways, Time Crisis was released in 1995, and I played a ton of it. And I mean a ton, a ton. I mean I dumped so many quarters into this game that when I finally got it for the PlayStation, I already knew most of the secrets and didn't actually play it that much. And then one day I went to the arcade and beat the whole game with two quarters, because ours was a 50 cent version. Basically got a whole crowd of people watching a, I don't know, 10 year old? Just completely school time crisis because I had played it so much. It was absolutely bonkers. My best time is underneath five, sorry, not five minutes. My best time is underneath 15 minutes, which I believe puts you in the top three, maybe just the top five of the sort of default leaderboard that comes with the thing because on the PlayStation you couldn't save. That's a whole other, like, whatever. It's an arcade game. It's meant to be beat in 15 minutes flat. Anyways... That's not even quite what I wanted to talk about. What I want to talk about is how I miss the simplicity of game setups in the 90s. You know, specifically arcade games. So arcade games needed to be flashy and intriguing enough. Like, they need to ask you enough questions to get you to play them, to plug your sweet quarters in. Because here's the deal. The light gun games didn't give you a ticket. So you weren't going home with a pocket full of army men for playing them. You had to be good at them, and they had to be fun, which means they had to draw you in. Well, here's how simple Time Crisis is set up. There's been a kidnapping. It's Rachel, the daughter of the president of Sertia. Get into the castle and rescue Rachel. Sometime, somewhere, someone is plotting a government overthrow. A small republic is in danger. Literally, sometime, somewhere. Star Wars is more specific with a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away because at least we know when and where. That's just Time Crisis. It's great. The other thing I absolutely love about sort of games that just got brought over directly from Japan in the 90s is character names. It's time for the one-man army. Richard Miller. She must be dead by now. Don't come! Rachel McPherson. Oh. Since you have traveled so very far, be my guest and let me entertain you. Cerudo Gano. Richard Miller must sound like a really cool name to sort of a non-English speaking ear. I'm not quite sure because I only speak English, unfortunately. Anyways, all I hear when 
you know, somebody says the name Richard Miller is Dick Grinder, which uh, I guess is a sex icon or the worst possible version of Jack the Ripper. Up to you, I suppose. Anyways, speaking of grinding, I jumped into RuneScape this week to see what's going on down there. And you know how, like, meta culture every now and then sort of checks in on furries and is like, Oh, you guys are up to some weird shit over there, aren't you? Well, I hope you're safe. That's how I feel about RuneScape right now, man. Because you look in on that, you look in on that, and you're like, RuneScape, you, you okay, buddy? You, uh, you're really complicated now. And I'm not entirely sure in a way that makes you fun, but that's, that's okay. You seem like you got a lot of players, and they're having fun, and I guess that is what's really important. Um, I did learn you can become a duke now, and, and that's great. You know, or a duchess, or a ducks, which is a really cool gender-neutral duke term. I don't know if it's pronounced ducks, as in waterfowl, or dukes, as in, I don't know, multiple dukes? That would be weird. Anyway, uh, so, you know, that was, that was cool. It was, it was nice to peek in and I learned that, you know, they have a goat boy cosmetic. So I bought that. And finally, remember months and months ago when I said I was learning to do stained glass? Well, I finally completed my first panel. I'm not showing you a picture of it because a mirror I was using and it reacted pretty bad with some acid and it, it ruined it after like a lot of work. So... Now I gotta work on a second panel, but after that, I'm looking to do some fursona work in stained glass. I think that would be fun. The biggest problem is stained glass is very, very, very design driven and I am not an illustrator. So I guess I have to learn how to do illustration, but good news is I really only have to learn to do illustration so far that I can do sort of outlining to break things up into shapes that they can become stained glass. You know, so just all of the hard parts up until coloring, which is a different kind of hard part, I suppose. I don't know. I'm bad at art. I do hope to share it with you someday, though. That does it for this week. Stream's coming up. I'm doing a Black Skyland stream on Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific time. The event will be up on YouTube shortly. And we have some things coming to YouTube. Number one, on Wednesday. As sort of is current right now, a new Bulkan episode. We're going to do Warhammer stuff on Wednesday from now until the cows come home. Because I've already said it, next up is Warhammer, like, Space Marine. And then, I don't know, I gotta find something else. Maybe Vermintide? I, you can't really, you, can, you can't really episodify Vermintide. That's not how it works. It's like trying to episode five. Payday. Speaking of which, I haven't even got into Payday 3 yet. Boy, this is a rambly vlog. I'm keeping this in. You didn't hear all the things that I said I was taking out earlier. This ramble stays in. Anyways, to continue with the October spooky Saturday theme, we are throwing in another Resident Evil 2 episode, and it's on Saturday because it's spooky Saturday. Anyways, as always, thank you for watching. I have been Wildweiler, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Star Wars is more specific than this within a galaxy afar along and goes away. What? Ugh. Star Wars is more specific than this within a galaxy a long, long time ago and far, far... Ugh. Star Wars is more specific within a car... Ugh. Star Wars. Star Wars. Stardy Wars. Stars. Star Wars. Star Wars is more specific within a galaxy f uh, Star <coughs> Star Wars is more specific of the <laughs>